Nathan, many congratulations through to round two here at the Kazoo World Championship. You've achieved so much already in your young career, but getting a win on that stage on your World Championship debut must be right up there. Oh, it's, it's, it's up there, definitely. It is up there. Like, you know, I wasn't nervous leading up to this, you know, but um, when I actually came up the road, you know, maybe 20 minutes before, now butterflies started kicking. It's been a dream from my S15, to be fair, to be playing on the biggest stage and all, so I'm happy. Considering I went through an operation last Thursday, got my appendix stuck out a week ago today, now I'm playing in the second round is a good achievement for myself, you know, but I'm just I'm just so happy to get past that against a tough opponent really. To be fair, he, he's like he's one of them players who you can you can go hit everything but then when he doesn't you take you try to take advantage of it, so I'm happy. You mentioned there getting your appendix taken out last week, far from the ideal preparation. Was there any ever a doubt, any ever a doubt about you having to compete here? Or were you always... It was last Monday. I felt the pain, like someone hit me in the side, so it was. And then I, I knew someone wasn't right, so I went in. And Thursday night I got the operation. Lucky enough, I didn't bust. So if I would have bust, have been game over. I wouldn't be here. Like so, but lucky enough, God took out three, three or four days healing. Started practicing Monday, Tuesday, and around it, a few hours, but. No, happy to do the job. You've had quite a lot of experience on the big stage over the last couple of years, the World Youth Final, two Grand Slam appearances, but how did it compare playing on this famous Ali Pali stage? It's a different kettle of fish, so it's, it's just like, you, you set yourself up from, I got my turkey yard, like, that was the main goal, World Championship at the end of the year. If you don't make that, you're not really going to keep your turkey yard in that way. But, no, it's unreal experience, the crowd was brilliant. It looks a lot smaller than it does on the, like when you stand up there and compared to TV, it looks massive. It's weird. <laughs> and obviously, looking ahead to tomorrow now, Michael Smith in the second round, one of the best players in the world, in fantastic form after his Grand Slam win, but that must be a game you're relishing. Yeah, Michael's one of the best players in the world, he's won his first major, and I was coming at some point, wasn't it, like really, but at the end of the day, you know, there's 128 professionals on the tour and they're all capable, I suppose, of beating the best players, but he's the advantage, obviously, but he deserves it. But I think I can give him a game if I play my proper stuff. I think I can. Look forward to it, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Nathan, congratulations on the win. Like you said, World Championship debut. What was it like putting up and driving up Muswell Hill and seeing Alexandra Palace at the top? It's definitely one of the moments you don't ever forget, though, know, for the very first time in my life. I always said I'd never come unless I'm playing because it's that confident of playing someday. But today was the day I actually got to play and I was so happy, you know. What a what a great place to play. It's unreal. Grand Slam just gone. You were in a tough group, but you held your own and you were involved in it. How much confidence do you take from being involved in such good games into this World Championship? Well, that's it. Like I bet Rob Ross Smith and Michael Van Gerwen, the most informed players this year, aren't they? Like, really, you know. And I ish pushed them, <laughs> you know, not as much as I wanted, but no, it's good preparation. And Luke Woodhouse, he played, he played well against me to be fair, but he was unlucky. But took a lot of good finishes. But no, that was great practice for me. It's good stage presence, you know. Get, I'm only getting used to the stage really, aren't I? Like I'm, and it's not like I'm playing every week in it. So the more stage time I get, I think the better I'm going to get, you know. You've won many development tours, and your name's been spoken about. For many years, do you feel like you've arrived on the world scene now, and you're a part of that elite one two eight? Wouldn't say elite at the moment. Like you know, I'm happy to go under the radar. You know, I don't mind that. I don't need to be talked about every week. I'm happy enough doing what I'm doing. You know, you look at like Luke Humphreys. He's built himself the whole way up. I'd much rather something like that. You know, just build yourself the way up, because you never know what happens in darts. Darts in Northern Ireland. It's never been in such a good place. It's mad, isn't it? Uh, has it? And, and, and you're part of that. Such good company. You, do, do you speak to the other guys from Northern Ireland as well? Uh, me and Darl, like, obviously, my Matt, you know, management, you know, we're buddies, like, so we're, and he's helped me a lot this year, to be fair. A lot. Me and him practice together a lot. Um, Josh, me and Josh get on well, but. And um, Mickey, he, he Mickey lives like two minutes away from me, so it's, 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 it's mad. And then your brand, it's, the darts in other rounds, it's actually taken really off. Like, and there's players who you never really probably have heard of, but there's always been good. Like, look at Barry Copen, World Master Final. You know, Neil Duff, he's made the, he won the BDO, didn't he, or WDF? You know, some good, good hands. Like, but you know, they have to come over here, don't they? <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, can you still get used to these TP stages? Because you, you look comfortable about that. I look comfortable, but uh, there's a there's a lot more gears. I think, and he done that TV. He liked to be fair. I'm nowhere near what it should be really to compete at the top. But I think the more I get on it, the more used to get it. I think I'll get better definitely. You mentioned about Northern Irish starts. It could be a very good day for Northern Irish starts if Mickey wins this game. Couldn't it? Well, yeah, Mickey's done the job the first game and he played very well. On Mickey's been about what 10, 12 years and he's. He's always there, so fair play to him. Like he's always consistent. Mightn't be the easiest to watch, but at the end of the day, he still gets the job done. He still turns up Ali Pali every year, which is a good achievement on its own. You mentioned Josh Rock earlier. He's somebody that at the start of the year maybe not that many people had, had heard of. Did you know Josh well before this year, and did you expect him to do this well? I knew Josh, but and like post COVID, I knew him, yeah. but. He must have, I don't know what's happened, <laughs> I don't know, but fair play to him, you know, you have to give credit where it's due, he's done what he's had to do and he's playing well, you know, there's a lot of hype about him and he deserves it to be fair, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not here for Josh Rock, he's not here for me, so I'll send it, you know. Best luck Thank you very much.